everybody and welcome back as you saw from the title today we're going to be making a pan seared salmon with a garlic butter cream sauce now let's get started all right so to start off our salmon today we're going to be using three fillets of salmon they're pretty small they're not that big but what we want to do is go ahead and get some butter and some oil in our pan to get that started so here you got a tablespoon of butter as well as a tablespoon of some olive oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that in the pan and let that start to warm up. Then we're just going to lightly season our fish. The, sea, the fish doesn't require so much heavy seasoning. So I'm just gonna give it a dash of salt, some black pepper, And a little sprinkle of some onion powder. Just a sprinkle. And I'm going to go ahead and turn them over. And do the other side as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a fork and turn these over. Because they really only need a light coating of um, seasoning. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same on the other side. Again, a little bit of salt. Some black pepper, and I'm using kosher salt in case you're wondering, and a drop of some onion powder. And that's all the seasoning we're going to be putting on the fish. Okay, so that's it. So we can move this over and mosey on over to our pot here. And here we have the butter and the olive oil mixing together. So let's go ahead, and my fish is actually um, skinless. If you have the fillets with the skin, I would say do it with the skin down. But these are skinless, so let's go ahead and just get all three of these in here. And they're not super thick, so they really only require two to three minutes, depending on the size of your fish and how thick they are to cook. Salmon doesn't generally take that long to cook. So I'm going to be cooking these until I see that... Um, it has gotten pink like on the halfway mark of the fish and then I'm going to flip them over to the other side all right so these have been going for two minutes on one side and it's starting to get pink up to the middle of the fish as you can see here so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and give it a turn and get a spatula probably would be best whoops I'm going to move it out of focus, so let's put a spatula and go ahead and turn these. Alright, so what we're going to do is just go ahead and cook these for two minutes on this side as well. And then I'll bring y'all back up. Okay, so these have now been going for two minutes on the other side. So what we're going to do now is get these out of the pan. Okay, if I can uh, try not to break it. Let me just bring my plate over here. One. And I broke this one. Two. Two. Mm -hmm. All righty, so now that we have all our fillets, look at them. Nice and pink and yet golden. So let's put those aside. Get that little piece out of there. So in the same pan now, I'm going to add a stick, not a stick, a teaspoon and a half of butter. So let me get that in there. One and a half teaspoons of butter. Just a piece of fish out so it doesn't burn. Oops. And then we're gonna add some. So we have here some shallots and garlic. You can also use onions if you don't have shallots. So we're just gonna let that cook for about. 
a minute. And that was a tablespoon of shallot and a half tablespoon of garlic. So we're just going to just let that cook for about a minute. Cook off some of that onion and garlic flavor. And then we're going to go ahead and add a half a cup of dry white wine. So here I have a half a cup of some dry white wine. So I'm gonna let this cook and reduce by half. So you wanna let this just boil, basically bring it to the boil. And when you see it goes down by half is when we're gonna be adding um, our next ingredient. So let's just kind of just cook. Let this boil down. All right, you can turn up the fire at this point to really bring it to a boil. And then this is, let me see, here you can see it's starting to boil. So it's going to reduce because alcohol, you know, eventually will evaporate it the more heat you add to it. So let's just, just go ahead and continue to cook down and reduce. Okay, so this has been boiling for two and a half minutes and it definitely has reduced down as you can see this is what is the remainder so at this point I'm going to add some heavy whipping cream and that is just going to give us a nice creaminess to our sauce So what I'm going to add at this point is just a little sprigs of some parsley flakes. Some people add spinach, but I think that's called like Tuscan style. I'm just going to add a little bit of parsley and let this come to a boil. Like we did when we added the um, white wine. So just let this come to a boil. And our sauce will be done once this comes up to a boil. So, so we're going to let this go for about a minute and a half. You're going to put it on like a low heat and just let it simmer. It'll come to a boil. Low to medium. And over here you can start to see it's starting to bubble. Let me bring it down more focus. And this is what we want. We want the whole pot to pretty much come to a nice boil. To help thicken up that sauce no I would say our sauce is done so let me go ahead and get this plated on top of the fish okay everybody so here we have it our pan seared salmon with our lemon butter cream sauce now let's give that a taste so I'm gonna just take a little piece and get that sauce Mmm, this is absolutely scrumptious. Now that was my take on making a pan seared salmon with a lemon butter cream sauce. What I really like about it is this one of those dishes that look kind of fancy, but is really simple to make. Just a quick reminder, when you are using the white wine, make sure it is a dry wine. Do not use a sweet wine such as Moscato. I have no idea how that would turn out. Probably not too good. So don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you again on the next one. Thanks for watching.